What's up guys, it's Bonsai here and today I'm going to be diving into the topic of Geometry Dash players and their routine abuse of mites. If you've ever laid eyes on any sort of Geometry Dash Extreme Demon completion, then I'm sure you're well aware of what I'm talking about. To the outsider looking in, it doesn't exactly make sense as to why a player would decide to smash their mouse whenever they want to jump in game. I am even guilty of deliberately slamming my mouse, to the point where my family sometimes grows agitated at the noise. I mean, just listen to this. Yo, can you guys hear my clicks? Can you guys hear that? I think the demon team should be able to pick this up, you guys think, right? We've always been doing it. The origin of Geometry Dash players clipping hard isn't exactly uncharted. The first examples of the community lifting up their finger and slamming it back down would be the game's inception. There's no other real way to play Geometry Dash on mobile, and since the game is a mobile game at heart, when the game moved to Steam, we took our techniques with it. Yet, there's reasons that even players who never touched the game on mo mobile reverted to the old community ways. It's way more natural. It's simply just way more natural for most players, including me, to raise their finger off the mouse before going to click again. When I first began to play Geometry Dash on the computer, I initially clicked light, like a normal person. But as I continued to play more and more and increased my skill, I noticed the force which I was exerting on my mouse with time was growing. Without even trying to, I slowly adapted to slam my mouse, which I never thought would happen. It's a necessity. Having clicks and completion videos, especially Extreme Demons which fall in the top 150, is a complete necessity. As of October 29th, 2020, a completion video not featuring clicks or hand cam is almost guaranteed to get rejected and not be added to the demon list. So, as players need to ensure that their clicks are being picked up by their microphones, they click louder and louder. I mean, you could get a hand cam, but that would take way more effort than simply adapting what the majority of the player base does anyways. It's extremely satisfying. Something about being able to hear the evidence that you are making the character move in a way in an absurdly difficult game is fantastic. Being able to watch someone else's video and think, wow, they did that, is a lot more profound when you can easily hear the indistinguishable slapping of their mouse. It helps you learn and play better. I've talked to many avid abusers of their mice within the community, and all have agreed that it's very easy to memorize certain click patterns once the clicks have been ingrained within your brain. Having both the visual and auditory cues to remember patterns is very helpful when trying to quickly understand a level. Also, for many players, lifting your finger off the mouse prior to clicking gives you a better judgment as to when you need to time your jump. And if there's a certain part where you need to click faster, if I'm clicking without lifting my finger off the mouse, sometimes I can feel my finger is getting stuck. This isn't an issue when you click loud. With all of these reasons combined, it's not hard to comprehend why the community clicks loud, but does that mean you should too? If you're not completing levels on the Geometry Dash Demon List or Challenge List, then it's completely up to your preference. Personally, I'd recommend clicking as you do now and see how it will de develop without you noticing. Like I stated, I didn't want to click loud at first, it just naturally happened. You just have to wait and see. I'd like to thank all of you who stuck to the end with this video, and if you enjoyed this type of content, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and a like. Have a great day. Bonsai out.